want a blowjob from Sherry Vine. Her teeth come out. So this is like perfect for me, okay? Help out an elderly bitch. Let's get her some likes. Let's go. <laughs> sure, they, she's never gonna get on Drag Race. She's too old for that. She's, she's on the Golden Girl season of Drag Race. Yeah, she's older than Lady Bunny. She's older than Lady Bunny. So you gotta go like her. Go to Miss Sherry Vine, Miss Sherry Vine, and like her so she'll shut the fuck up. Oh, I've known her for so long. You're seeing me this month in Liverpool, in Jamie. Yes, 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 yes. I love Tampa. Thank you, Tampa. I tell you, it's been a long two months. Uh, you've been definitely dra you've been dabbling in drag. Oh, that's how it starts. That's how it starts. You know what's so crazy is that I just realized this January is 26 years that I've done um, drag. That's a long fucking time. That's a long fucking time. Miss Sherry Vine was hilarious last night. She's hilarious every fucking night. Every night. Yeah, uh, I know. The problem was paper cups is what they had here. We're down to the last of the cups on the bus, so we're not, we're not doing the red plastic ones. And they say these are better for the environment. Mm. You like Sherry Vine's page. Good. Go like her page. She needs her little fans on there. So she'll leave me alone. No, I do love Sherry. If you get a chance to see Sherry, because she travels quite a bit. You know, if you catch her in Palm Springs, or you catch her in Los Angeles, or you catch her in New York City during the show. Um, she and Miss Jackie Beat are fabulous live. So is Miss Rollo Jean Merman. So is my good friend, Miss Coco Peru. If you get a chance, check out the old gals. I know everything doesn't revolve around Drag Race, but these girls know how to put on a show because they've been doing shows since the 1990s. Uh, Sherry since the 1890s, but it's worth it. I feel so lost lately, but seeing you live made my day feel better. Well, no one has ever told me that, so I appreciate that. Usually, people after they see my live consider suicide, but that's just my face. You've been doing drag for 48 years. Oh, Robert Sandy Beach, oh my God, God bless you. It creeps up, doesn't you? Sherry's 30 years, I'm 26 years, it's wild. Never did I think, you know, by putting on a wig that it was gonna end up lasting this long, or that I would still have fun, you know? You never know. No, I don't wear flip-flops for the show. Sorry, no. I always wear heels. That's how it works. These are my new favorite things. Alcohol, white, I just, I'm crazy about wiping everything down. Even before COVID, it's crazy. I just hate things like feeling shit on my hands. I don't like it. Oh, Diva, uh, Mayday. My friend Mayday in um, Amsterdam, who I love, my good girlfriend, 32 years, which is shocking because she says she's only 36. What kind of fucking math? Maybe the math there is different. Yeah. Please bring back on tour Jackie Bay at Cherry Vine. I would love to. I would love to. Yeah, if we can work it out. We did a show called National Treasures, which was a lot of fun. Um, but it just, it depends on timing. You know, and they've got their own things going on. I have things going on, you know. How long does it take to wash and set a wig? Uh, it, it depends. It really depends on what wig it is. This one doesn't take long. Uh, I don't really have to set this one because this is a, a bob, but this is all separate pieces. But I also have a wig dryer, which is amazing. Uh, a wig oven. It's like a closet that you put the wigs on a shelf and then you shut it and then they can dry all your wigs at once. It's fancy. I always wanted one. You know, you know, we like younger and um, when I used to work for the opera and do wigs, um, it was one of those things where we had one that we would use for the shows and I always said, when I get a couple dollars, I'm gonna get one. So that was the crazy thing I wanted, a wig dryer. The things we buy. But I said, I knew it made my life better. You can also stack nine wigs in there at once to dry. So just imagine all nine of your hairs could be done and dry, which is great. Yes, I do all my own hair. That is correct. I like doing it. It's part of the process. So like to do my own hair, to do my own makeup. Like there's a lot of queens um, that, you know, have other people do their makeup. Look, no one's going to make me look any prettier. So I just do it myself. Uh, and also it's just therapeutic because it's kind of part of the process. I come in, I put on my music. Or only lately I've been talking to y'all. <gasps> ben Bagby! My Ben Bagby, my fabulous, talented friend from New Orleans. I haven't seen him in forever. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, I love Ben Bagby. So talented. We've known each other since I was a child. Um, so anyway, um, what the fuck was I talking about? Wig dryer. Oh, yeah. So wig dryer. So that was one of the things that I wanted. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like part of my routine is just to put everything together and get myself together each night. Uh, is your show going to be stream on a streaming channel? Not on a channel, but we are filming it. Yeah. You look so nice. Oh, I thank you. Yes, I still do all my outfits. And this year, um, because of COVID, um, I got to work with two of my favorite people, Mr. Uh, Philip Heckman and Mark Happel, who were friends of mine that worked in New York at the same costume shop I worked at. So we were able to whip out a lot of stuff for the show. So there's more looks to come for the rest of the tour um, that I have planned. More yellow and black, obviously. Um, yeah. So that's what we're saying. 
No, but I can't, I don't think I could sit still long enough for somebody else to do my makeup. That would make me crazy. Like, I don't, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. What do I think about cancel culture? I don't. I don't. Someone's not gonna like something, someone's gonna like it. May not be for you, maybe for somebody else. What do you care? If you don't like it, don't watch it. It's quite simple. That's how I feel. Do you make looks for other drag queens? No, I don't. I used to, but I don't. Uh, Sherry will be for a couple of dates in the UK, I believe. Yes, we're working on all that now. Sherry has a schedule, and I'm going to be rotating uh, the opening acts, uh, opening performers, I should say, uh, for the UK. Uh, they just have, we're working on scheduling now. Now, it, it's just such a process, because uh, we just got all the routing approved, and I just put everything out uh, on dates. So now we're talking to see who's available for what dates and what makes sense. <clears throat> ABC reunion. Yes, we're supposed to do a tour. Uh, we, not a tour, but like a couple of dates in the UK. We were supposed to do it last year. So uh, that's with Holy Tea. And uh, I think we have to make that up this summer at some point. I don't know. New merch release date. We're traveling with new merch. The merch was delayed, so we just got the merch on the road. So I finished this on Wednesday uh, here. And then uh, my Jamie will go home and open the store with all the new merch in it. It's just that he's been on the road and we didn't have it to set it up to get it to people online while we're out here. Because it's just a small group of us that do everything. So that's what's going on. Am I coming to Mexico? Yes, you motherfucker. Check the fucking website, bitch. You people. Am I friends with the Belay brothers? I only met them. I met them once at a party. They were very nice. Um, Jamie is doing well. Jamie's doing well. Jamie's in the front dealing with merchandise today. You were in my dream and you were really sweet. That's a fucked up dream. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, it's a weird fucking dream. If you're dreaming about me, I apologize. That's some fucked up shit. I have nightmares about you. Yeah, oh, Kenny has <laughs> nightmares about me. Oh, he's so fucking funny. You see, I've been threatening Kenny. And he keeps his fucking sassy fucking mouth and I'll make him go back and work for Jinx again. Which means he'll have two gigs a year. <laughs> I'm only getting I'm only getting jinxed back because she was a cunt the other day. <laughs> I was just in New Orleans. Where were you? Where the fuck were you? Oh my god. Go to thebiancadelrio.com. That's where everything fucking is. You should go to San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One day I'll go to San Diego. I'm here tonight. Always that. Literally, literally, as soon as I leave the city, somebody goes, You should come here. I'm like, y'all fucking shit fucking shit. I'm coming to Brazil. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Somebody said, hi, Kenny. So we're still trying to find Kenny a boyfriend. So if you're interested in Kenny, let us know. Kenny says you have to be tall. That's his requirement. I mean, I was going to say breathing, but, you know, he'll fuck anything. <laughs> he'll fuck anything. Um, yeah. It's a remix. I thought it was like, oh, my God, my CD is skipping. How old am I to say CD? <laughs> When I started drag, we had cassettes, bitch. We had cassettes, and if you didn't, have, you would have to take a pencil and set it up, cue it up in the hole of the cassette, and then give it to the DJ, because if it was delayed, the DJ would get furious. And then, I remember when compact discs came out, and it was the new thing, Woo! So then I got uh, a compact disc, and, and everything wasn't on compact disc yet. So a lot of new stuff was, but not, not the old stuff. So when you didn't have the old stuff on cassette or compact disc, you had to bring an actual album a vinyl album into the store girl into the store into the bar and don't leave it in a hot car in new orleans because it would warp that's how old i am yes bitch and then you're sitting out there trying to put cans of coke on it in the heat and <laughs> flatten it out and pray that it played your song because it would do like this god i'm old we're riding with except was a pencil was yeah therapeutic yeah and you had to get it cute cute how old am I? I'm 46. I have 47 in, yeah, 46. I'll be 47 in June, which is next year. I don't know why I always say that. Obviously, you'll be 47 unless I die. Yeah, but I'm 46. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real to real cassette. Yeah, I know, but that was crazy, though, you know? Did I watch All Star 6? I caught most of All Star 6. Uh, I got up to a certain point. I was watching Trinity K. Bonet. So when she got up to where she was, then I stopped watching because I knew what was going to happen anyway. I mean, not, I didn't know who was going to win, but I mean, I already knew who was in the top. So, you know, because these whores talk. Uh, touring Down Under. Yes, I will be touring. We haven't gotten our dates yet because you people haven't figured out COVID yet. So get your shit together. Good day, motherfuckers. 
Is my sign a cancer? Yes, I am. I don't, I, don't, I don't know anything about astrology, so let's not even go there. When these people are like, mm, I talk about this all the time. I don't know anything about astrology and don't care. I have met people that are Scorpios that are assholes. I've met people that are assholes that are Tauruses. I don't give a fuck. None of that means anything to me. Silky did that thing. What do you mean? Oh, so... Oh, I did see that Silky has a new lotion. Let's see if she sends me one. I want to smell like her nut bag ganache. Thought that was an interesting thing. Lotion. I mean, you know. Do you keep in touch with Jiggly? Yes, bitch, I just said I saw her last night. I posted a picture. <laughs> I did. This is not a dress. This is pajamas from my friend, Daniel Valsevich's The Kit. It's a little pajama set that I'm wearing. Are they going to sound check with us? Uh, I guess they can come to sound check with us. I don't know where we're going. We're gonna go see. Your top button is unbuttoned. I know, because I didn't I didn't plan on buttoning it all the way up, but I didn't shave my chest because you're not gonna see it tonight. What does your lipstick taste like? Uh, lipstick. Uh, Babora Theater is gorgeous. Okay, so here, let's go. Just saw that in the musical. Just saw you on that musical with the London Twink. Okay. Okay, everybody's a twink compared to me because I'm old. Okay, so here, let, let's go see what's happening. Okay, we're gonna go to sound check. Is Sherry coming with us? Yeah, we should grab her. She probably doesn't have time with us. All right, do we take in the elevator? Or we take yeah, the I'm stairs. I mean, I could take the stairs. Oh, we're oh, we're here. Okay, so we're going in the padded <laughs> elevator. We might lose connection in the elevator, so hold on. Yes, of course. Oh, God, here she comes. Oh, God, two more days, two more days. I'm kidding. I love the Harlequin. Yeah, this is, I said, my, look, my pajamas. They're from, it's um, so cute. this Damn. is from, um, the kit. Yeah, the kit. Oh, There's oh, Sherry. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we're only going up one floor. This is so lazy. We could have taken the stairs. It's okay. We work hard. Yeah. What's your favorite song? Not one that Sherry sings. <laughs> Any song, but anything that Sherry like sings. The notes? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Sherry. Okay, me. here we go. We're all going for Well, that's the whole point of drag is to come for each other. We should have gone out the other way. Oh, my God, Kenny. We should have gone the other way. Okay, now we're in pitch black. But you'll see me soon. Okay, hold on. We can't see. Now, Kenny's going to take over in a minute because this is a big theater, but we can't see. All right, Kenny, you're in charge. Mm -hmm. Hello. <clears throat> Um, so, um, you, hello, hello, uh, this sounds good, I think it may be a little louder for me in the monitor, um, because I'm on the struggle bus today vocally, I feel like if, uh, oh, that's good, it could it be even a little louder, or are we going to get any feedback, that's, that's, that's good, uh, that works for me, and whatever you think works for you out there, uh, because you know the room better than I do, great. Uh, can I see the um, audience light scenario, please? Could it be a little dark? That's the, a little bit. That's good. Perfect. That's great for them, and that's who I will talk to. And uh, is it just this one spotlight tonight? Just one. Yeah. Just one. Okay, great. And um, can I see full lights just to see? There's no one, there's no seating up here, right? Oh, there's nothing. Okay, great. So, um, Kenny, I think we can move up a bit because this monitor covers mm -hmm. people's heads. A little more. Um, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's kind of good, because that covers that. There's no one up there. Oh, there's people up there. Oh, that seat. Should I come back a bit for that seat up there? Scanlon, do you think? Do you see the upper balcony seat? Am I going to be too... Am I too forward for that, or should I come back a bit? Do you see what I mean? The corner area? Oh, I don't think so. Okay. That's all. You know what I mean. Yeah, okay, let me move back. I'm to... All right, that sounds good. And um, can we see meet and greet lights real quick so we can check... For photos, thank you very much for all of that. That was lovely and quick. They can watch us do that. Okay, and here we go. Hello, Scanlon. All right, and am I on what side am I on? Today? You guys are on this side. This, oh, this side. Okay, good. Okay. I guess I should have just said. That's right. You could have said left and right, but no, instead I just this side. Okay. This new outfit. Uh, these are just my pajamas. Funny you should ask. They are from the kit in New York City. My friend Daniel yeah, also did something. I'm not wearing it for the show. Just the back no, stage. Stay next to me. Pretend like you're one of my fans. This is oh, I hate when people say one of my fans. Little oh, fans now. Supporter. Okay, let's pretend like we care. Because you know you don't care about me, and you know I don't care about you. You're only here because I'm paying you. That looks beautiful. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're done with sound check, and I think we.
we should leave. Thank you guys very, very much. Um, if Chris, if I feel like I'm struggling, I will give you the thumbs up, but um, I'll know early when people are in here already, if I feel like I can't hear myself. Happy that? Yeah, I, I ate a bug last night. You saw that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. a fucking bug. <laughs> a bug flew in my drink, and I thought that was just what I'll I take your mic. Why am I taking the microphone? I don't know. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna give you this. Yeah. Okay, so bug now we go back. Eater. Bug eater, yeah, fuck off. Okay. Okay, keep this area clear. All right, here we go. I'll just take the stairs. Oh, there's the bus. And here's security. Hello, how are you? Nobody's outside yet. But here we are, people Which is all the way down here. I prefer to take... Here we go. Okay. Oh wait, that's not my room. I'm this way. Oh, look at all the people that have been here. Roseanne Barr. I don't know, don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot her name, but she's on something. Uh, John Legend. Oh, Tyler Oakley. Mm, don't know. Dr. John. He's from New Orleans. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Don't know, don't know. Oh, William Shatner. Girl. Donny Osmond. David Crosby. Yep, I know them because they're old. All right. Let's see who else has performed here. I always think about that when I'm in the bathroom. Ooh, Susan Boyle performed here. Doesn't she look like bag of chips? And that's not a compliment. Yeah. Oh, look, Patty Lapone. Let's take a moment. Ooh, thin Patty. All right, Patty. That was a while ago. Yeah. Uh huh. And let's see who's here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, not my favorite. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, uh, uh. Yep. So there we go. A lot of random people. Oh, Mike Tyson, what the fuck did he do? Interesting. I have no idea. Okay, well, that's what it is. All right, well, I need to get ready because we have uh, a meet and greet coming up, so I need to put on my pantyhose. So just so you know that my outfit is from, as you can see it in this sassy light, ooh, it is from The Kit, New York City. If you go look at it out, check it out. The Kit, New York City, my friend Daniel Vosovic sent it to me. Thank you, Daniel. And um, I'm going to go do a meet and greet. So I will check in with you guys soon. All right?